For the first time in its 18 year history, World of Warcraft is introducing a playable race and class combo. The Drakthir Evoker. Every Drakthir is an Evoker, and every Evoker is a Drakthir. But beyond that simple truth, there is a lot to unpack about this new character option. To get you up to speed, here's a primer on the history of the Drakthir race and their unique Evoker attributes. Thanks to their Dragonkin heritage, the Drakthir shapeshift between a humanoid visage and draconic form. In their visage form, Drakthir carry out tasks like any other humanoid race, including equipping gear, riding mounts, mining, and more. A Drakthir's draconic incarnation gives them access to a range of powerful combat moves, plus the option to glide like the Demon Hunter and the unprecedented ability to take to the skies without a mount. The Drakthir fly using the Saw ability and can use it to travel at speed around the Dragon Isles. They also have a number of powerful racial traits at their disposal, including Tail Swipe and Wind Buffet for crowd control, and several passive traits that are particularly well suited to their draconic form. Drakthir Evokers were created by Naltharion, one of the five dragon aspects and leader of the Black Dragonflight, who gave them the ability to wield the magic of all five primary dragonflights. When choosing a specialization, this is refined to fewer colors, as while all evokers have access to healing and attack magic, the role they take on is shaped by the areas players choose to focus on. Devastation is the damage dealer specialization, which centers around explosive red, destructive black, and powerful blue spells. It enables fast multi-enemy attacks and precise single target removal. For evokers who favor protecting and bolstering their allies, the preservation specialization utilizes green and bronze magic. It grants the ability to nurture and heal, as well as the power to manipulate time. In both cases, evokers can explore nuances specific to the magic they wield with the ability to empower their spells. Charging a spell allows you to choose the precise moment it's unleashed, potentially making an ability more powerful or increasing the number of targets it can hit. For both aggressor and protector roles, empowered spells add new ways to make Drakthir evokers more valuable allies or more dangerous opponents. As with World of Warcraft's previous hero classes, Death Knight and Demon Hunter, the Drakthir Evoker can side with either Horde or Alliance during character creation. And beyond choosing a faction, customization options for both Visage and Draconic forms are extensive. With a multitude of variations across body size and shape, primary and secondary colors, plus optional chest and leg spikes, the Draconic Drakthir can look as friendly or as fearsome as you wish. The humanoid visage has its own range of face and hair colors available, with additional highlights and decorations that enable you to coordinate or differentiate your look between the two forms. Playing as a Drakthir Evoker also provides access to a new starting experience in Forbidden Reach, a small island off the coast of the Dragon Isles. Here, players will explore the origins of the race class combo in a special prologue, before venturing into the four other Dragon Isles zones. With new ways to fight, explore, and engage, the Drakthir Evoker is a unique proposition that offers players the chance to experiment with many talents and abilities. Build your own and claim your place in the world of Azeroth when World of Warcraft Dragonflight launches on November 28th. For more on World of Warcraft, keep it here at IGN.